Hey guys, this is Comic Uno, and today I'm doing a review for The Gifted. So let's start talking about this episode, and uh, here we get to learn a little bit more information about the Strucker family when Reed goes to visit his father. And I will say this episode kind of starts out slow, um, but really picks up towards the middle of the episode when we learn that uh, Reed's father is a mutant, his parents were a mutant, and Reed himself actually was a mutant, but uh, because his father gave him the serum to not have the powers anymore when he was sick, that allowed Reed not to be a mutant. And we learn a bit more about Lauren and um, Andy along the way because of this, that if they hold hands, they could become like one of the most powerful mutants there are, and, and I felt like that was pretty cool. And we see in the promo that's exactly what's going to happen, and the episode actually ends on them holding uh, each other's hand. Uh, we also get introduced to new characters here related to uh, the company that Reed's father worked at, uh, and that they have this serum to control mutants in a way. So when they, obviously they have mutants in, in their holding facility, and it's all... I guess going to be connected to Sentinel Services in the end also. Uh, but yeah, so we, we get to see uh, Skylar Samuels, an actress I really enjoy from Nine Lives and Chloe King, a new telepathic mutant uh, helping out um, Amy Acker's character where they have this mutant at first that you believe is kind of like villainous and you learn a little bit more about her story uh, and again how that's connected to Trask Industries. Uh, and we get a little bit more information with Blink, which was nice. I, I like that her story wasn't fully about, you know, this, you know, fake love triangle that was going on. But it was her and um, Lorna, um, I think her name's Laura, oh, Lorna, the one with the red hair. Uh, her abilities uh, to manipulate people's memories actually being used with Blink to help someone else. So I'm like, all right, we finally got over that hurdle with Blink. Uh, and we get a bit more of an emotional arc. Uh, with her, with her family. Uh, and we get a little bit from Pol uh, Polaris and Eclipse in this episode, but that was more towards the beginning. We don't get as much of that drama, thankfully, in this episode. They're kind of sidelined because last episode was more focused on them. So overall, uh, especially towards the middle of the episode, this totally picks up and I'm really excited to see what this means for the Shrucker family. Uh, so I thought it was a pretty solid episode. Let me know in the comments below, what did you think? This is Comic You Know. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Don't forget to like my Facebook page. Also, description below, there are links for my comic book, Like Father, Like Daughter. And don't forget to like the Facebook page of Like Father, Like Daughter. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.